In a world where all rules of society have fallen apart, a generic, conventionally attractive Hollywood heroine will rise. I volunteer as Trip, but I mean to be your hero! Who will try to protect the only decent person, who happens to be the only non-white person in the whole movie. Hello, I... Who is so shy, she doesn't even talk. What? I said, doesn't even talk. And will die tragically, only to further the heroine's story. Wait, what? Ah! Sis! Oh, the arrow isn't that deep. I should be fine. Don't die! I'm not! Hey, what are you doing? You're pushing the arrow into my kidney! Ah! You won't die in vain, I promise. The generic heroine will be trained by a suave, sexy young man played by a significantly older actor. I have abs. Whom she will develop feelings for, but she will also develop feelings for her useless childhood friend who in all honesty is a complete jerk. I'm cute and a dork, making up with my charm what I lack in will. Everything. The generic heroine will be joined by her plucky best friend, yet still not pass the Bechtel test. Hey, how do we plan to forage for food? Who should I choose? What? We should talk about this later. He's so hot, but I've known the other guy my whole life. We need to get food. I just can't decide. Just date them both. I can't. I must think of our ticket sales. Where her best friend will appear to be attracted to the heroine, but never make her attraction to the heroine canon, baiting LGBTQ plus audiences and inspiring torrents of fan fictions. You're my world. I wouldn't know what to do without you. I feel the same way. I love... Uh, uh, you're my gal pal. <laughs> Coming soon to a theater near you, Generic heroine in the unnecessary love triangle.